Good day, students. Welcome back to our class. Are you ready for another learning session with me? If you are, let's get started. Today, we are going to discuss Lesson 3, which is all about effect of media and technology on fitness and physical activity. So before we discuss, I want you to ask you this question. How many hours do you spend in a day in using social media or gadgets? What benefits do you get in spending time with your gadgets and social media? Nowadays, most of us own at least one gadget. So, naging parte na ng ating pang-araw-araw na buhay ang paggamit ng mobile phones. At minsan pa nga ay parang di na natin kayang mabuhay nang wala ito. So, sometimes, even just knowing what time it is, we use our phone, not our wristwatch anymore. While media and technology can be seen in a very, uh, in a very possible way. So, we cannot deny the fact that it has also brought negative effects, especially uh, when we are not uh, disciplined enough in using it. So in relation to physical fitness and physical activity, too much use of media and technology has led to obesity. Dahil ito sa mahabang oras na pagtutok sa gadget. So, nawawala na ng oras sa ehersisyo at pagkain sa tamang oras. So, to discuss it more, let's have the negative effects of media and technology on physical fitness. Decrease of physical activity. This is very obvious since when a person spends a lot of time with gadget, he or she hardly moves at all. Mas kaya nating humilata na lang maghapon basta may cellphone at internet. So, masyado na tayong nawiwili, hindi natin alam, kulang na tayo sa physical na gawain. So, exposure to unhealthy foods. Children spend a lot of time watching television or their phones and they tend to eat unhealthy snack while doing so. So, marami na rin silang nakikitang patalastas ng mga pagkain na hindi maganda sa kalusugan. So, increase of food intake. Since they eat while watching TV or using gadget, they may develop a bad eating habits. Sometimes when they are watching for a long time, they also eat for a long time. So, mayroon pa nga uh, uusong gawin ngayon na tinatawag na mukbang na kung saan ay isang tao ay kumakain ng higit or higit pa sa normal at kailangan. So, maaari itong maimpluwensahan sa mga manunood. Decrease in sleep time. So, this is very obvious since a lot of time is spent watching or using gadget, children are uh, deprived of sleep. Dahil dito, ang mga bata ay madaling magkasakit at nawawalan ng lakas para sa ibang gawain. The spend of fake news in social media, it has become rapan nowadays that people believe whatever they see in internet, napakadelikado nito dahil maaaring uh, makapagbasa o makapanood ang mga bata ng maling impormasyon tungkol sa physical fitness at kalusugan. So, dapat rin uh, kumonsulta sa totoong doktor kapag tungkol sa kalusugan ang pinag-uusapan. So, these are some of the harmful effects of media and technology on, uh, on physical fitness. Hindi rin naman natin maipagkakaila na may positibong epekto din naman ang teknolohiya at media sa ating buhay. So, ano-ano nga ba ang mga ito? So, the first one is media as a source of information. So, hindi na natin kailangan pumunta sa library o bumili ng dyaryo para sa impormasyon. We should just be very careful in believing or getting the correct and true information. 
always practice extensive reading to avoid getting false and dangerous information. Seeing other people in media can also motivate or inspire others to lead an active life, lifestyle. So especially nowadays that there are a lot of lifestyle and fitness bloggers who can positively uh, influence the young ones. So dapat lang piliin natin kung sino ang ating tutularan. So in the modern world that we live in, almost everything is available online. So there are available physical fitness application now which can provide virtual assistance in doing physical activities. May mga pwede tayong mapanood na tutorial o gabay sa tamang pag-ehersisyo. Also, media can provide leakages which different groups that can help in motivating an individual to start a physical fitness program. Maari tayong uh, makakilala at pwedeng salihan para, sa, uh, para mas ma-inspire pa tayo at sipagin sa pagpapalakas ng ating katawan. Lagi lang tandaan na maging maingat at mapagkilatis. So here are some ways on how we can lessen the negative effects of media and technology to physical fitness. So lessen your TV channels. So choose channels which are useful. By doing this, it can lessen the time spent in watching. So, set a schedule for leisure activities. Sleep, eating, and doing physical activities. You must follow the set schedule. Download a physical fitness application so you won't need to go to the gym for a physical instructor. Just be very keen in choosing the application to download. I hope everything is clear. So that's it for today. Sana ay marami kayong natutunan at sana ay gamitin ninyo ang iyong mga natutunan. So thank you for listening. Goodbye and God bless.